understand as a Christian. Hi. Okay, so the thing about the Bible is it's not in perfect chronological order, which is also kind of the point. So there's multiple parts of the Bible where one thing is starting to be explained, but not fully explained, and then later explained chapters and chapters and chapters later, which God does on purpose. So that way we can point to that and be like, look, it's legitimate because how did people a couple hundred years beforehand already know something that only actually came to be a couple hundred years later? A lot of the Bible is prophecy. How do we got that out of the way? Dinosaurs. Some Christians believe that dinosaurs became extinct due to the flood, which God said every single creature, two of every single creature goes on the boat. So one, that would make sense. Two, there was water dinosaurs. So they just would have been happier so that yeah no and some people will be like oh well maybe noah didn't listen but it literally says like in the verse afterwards noah did everything perfectly like he was supposed to so here's the thing in genesis 1 1 it says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth but then genesis 1 2 says that the earth was in ruins now god doesn't make anything already ruined he only makes things perfectly right he makes perfect things he's perfect so why would his creation be otherwise the only reason his creation would be imperfect is if it gets messed up afterwards. Like us humans, we are only sinful creatures because we are in a fallen world and because Eve decided to be smart and eat the freaking apple. What's well, a fruit, not an apple. Back to the plot. Now, a lot of Bible scholars say that the earth was already in ruins and God remade the earth because it says that it was formless and empty and there was no light on the earth. But then the question is asked, how did the earth get messed up? Here's the thing. When there was the whole tussle between the angels and the demons and all, all that hot mess that's way too much to go into right now, the Bible says that Satan was grabbed by God and God was like, oh. right? And he spit him out in a ball of fire. What if, if, because technically I don't know, but what if that ball of fire was the meteor that killed the dinosaurs? You catch him on drift here? So here's the thing. We've already acknowledged the fact that the earth was already in existence. However, God remade it and made it new. So, why was the earth crappy? Because a freaking meteor hit it. But what was the meteor? Satan. And that's why the earth was all messed up. And that's why the waters were dim and there was no light. Because God was like, you know what? Wapa. Boom. Well, actually, I'm like, but yeah. Just to be clear, there's two ways that you could read Genesis 1 and 2. It's either God created the heavens and the earth now, right as he made it. It was already messed up, but I explained why that doesn't make sense. Or you could read it as God created the heavens and the earth over here but now it's messed up. So gotta think about that. Also punctuation is different in different languages. So it's kind of hard to like, you know what I mean? But yeah, let me know. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think that's a good theory? Just saying.